Yes, the Harvard Business School at Murphy Land. Is that Murphy? Hello. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, we hear a lot now about Harvard online and everybody's already settling there. But you were talking about basic mistakes that people do, especially when they're doing business partners. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I guess for a lot of people, the video they use just a webcam, a better digital camera. Often they do it in their office or with a confusing background of their bookshelves, posters. And if they're wearing glasses, sometimes the, the windows behind the camera are not uh, drapes aren't closed or the shutters are closed, so they have these reflections off the glasses. Uh, maybe sometimes it gets too long or it's too short. So what would be a good amount of time for a really good view? Well, depending on what it's worth, two minutes is probably long enough. One minute is very good. It's a tip or a news piece. Um, you can segment it on your website. You can put all the video in one layer. You can put different pages of your site. So if you have a guarantee, maybe make a video that says, Hi, I'm the owner. I'm just going to stand behind my products and services. Um, versus a welcome at the beginning. Uh, if you're looking for diamonds and jewelry, come to our jewelry store and what's special about it. So um, vary it up. And then the other thing is get feedback. Most people make video, put it online. They don't ever ask anybody if it's any good. They just hope that it works. Uh-huh. And how do you see if you're going? Do you think it's just a fad online? Or? Oh, absolutely not. I think video will be the standard or the norm uh, for content. I think you'll always have the text. It seems every time, it's not necessarily new media, it's a, a more efficient way to communicate an existing video. And every time a sort of new platform comes along, everyone says, well, when TV came, radio would disappear. Yeah. When computers came, when paper would disappear. That never happens. It's just integrated into existing channels. If your customers want it, give it to you. And uh, you can still always have text and whatever else to read the radio. And besides promoting your business with a video, can I capitalize with a video? Can I create a product? Sure. Oh, yeah. uh, one of the things you can do with video is uh, if you're an information product, obviously you can film yourself presenting at a seminar or a class or a university. You can sample your product if you teach people how to use a computer. You can capture your computer screen, put it on video, using different types of software, and then sell it. That's what you mean, just selling the video itself or selling well, other let's, say, let's say I have a practice business and I'm offline and I'm going to go online. What would be the best approach to use video? And well, let's say you're selling it as figurines. So you, you have a kiln and you make clay things and exactly. you're making glaze. Well, you can show people how you make them. It doesn't necessarily mean they want to get into the craft business. They just know more about the product that they're buying. So you can say, because people sometimes go to a craft store and say, wow. $100 for that, and they don't understand the work of it. Right? If there's a, a little video on the website that shows it's hand painted, it's hand carved, every niche, and you know, fisherman's pipe was crafted with blood, then they understand why it costs $100 for a small figure that they didn't perceive to be because maybe a handmade craft compared to one made by machine imported from China, you know, that's the difference. There, there's a lot of energy and, and craftsmanship. Value. That's why you sell a video value, information, back you want your business to do business with. Yeah, let's say I do a series of video about a how to series, for example. Where do I put them? Well, again, if you're selling it offline, you can sample, take a one or two minute clip out of a 15 minute or one hour video, even um, where do you put the how to videos? I, I would put them in a uh, frequently asked questions area. If you're selling how to videos, well, then your products will look different clips. So here's a clip for chapter one, here's a clip for video two. If you're looking how to save money or get a mortgage, you know, how to save money, here's a, you know, an example of a married couple, a single couple. Parents moving in, moving in, whatever. Or do people want to know more about you or what you do? Where they can help you? Well, they can uh, see me and video at customercatchertv.com. Customercatchertv.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.